they're saying I do for a third time this weekend in Portofino, Italy in front of a close circle of family and here, DailyMail.com takes a look back at the three weddings, wild PDAs, IVF struggles and whirlwind romance of Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker Having been a friend of the family for years, Travis Barker first showed his interest in the Car Jenner clan when he confessed to first being attracted to Kim Kardashian, not Courtney, back when she was an assistant to Paris Hilton around 2000 How could you not stare at Kim? Mind you, I enjoyed hanging out with Paris, but I love curvy girls, Travis admitted in 2015 Kim was eye candy. I was no way disrespectful to Paris, but I couldn't keep my eyes off Kim. Travis went on to say he spent time with Kim in their Calabasas neighborhood and while he had a crush on her, he said nothing ever happened. Getting to know the family Travis then made several appearances on Keeping Up with the Kardashians while he was still married to ex-wife Shannon Oakler, cementing his status as a true Kardashian family for his daughter Alabama revealed in October 2017 that she had been bonding with the Kardashians, along with her father though she did not specifically mention court. Actually, the other night I had dinner with all of them and they were really sweet, she's Travis shares Alabama and his son Landon with his ex Mokler, who he was married to from 2004 to 2000. Courtney and Travis first sparked romance rumors when they were spotted on what appeared to be a date together in 2018 Los Angeles for their evening out, the duo attended an evening service at the famed celebrity Hillsong Church and then later went out for a vegan dinner at Crossroads where they dined with Courtney's pal Larsa Pippin. At the time, Courtney had broken up with French model Eunice Benjima just a few months before. Their relationship was confirmed in January 2021 after growing closer during the pandemic, as Courtney recently revealed she made the first move while the pair were enjoying a friendly movie night. I was definitely always attracted to Travis. I think it was just the right time in my life she said on the show this year, adding, We were texting and I put it out there, like flirtatious con- After Travis failed to make a move and went to put on a second movie for them to watch, Courtney took action, I was like, I don't have time for this movie marathon, so I made the- Travis became Instagram official for Valentine's in February 2021 with Courtney posting a picture of the pair holding hands, but that was just the start of the wild PDAs that by April, Travis posted a blurry snap of them making out, while they later revealed their signature move on Courtney straddling the Blink-182 drummer in the Utah desert. Their PDAs reached a fever pitch in August last year, when Scott Disick reached out to her ex Eunice Benjima on Instagram after seeing Courtney straddle Travis on a gondola. He later apologized. They made their red carpet debut at the VMAs in September last year and their display of tongue kissing for the cameras set the tone for many more PDA-heavy events including this year's Met. While the couple's romance has seen many highs, Courtney has revealed they've also faced heartbreak as she's struggled to have a child with Tra In an episode of The Kardashians, Court confessed their doctor had taken them down this road of doing IVF saying it hasn't been the most amazing. The reality star is mother to Mason, 12, Penelope, 9, and Rain. 7, with her former partner Scott Disick, whom she dated from 2005 until 2015. Travis popped the question in October to Courtney, whisking her away to a beach in Montecito, California, as the special moment was captured for the Kardashians Hulu reality show. Later, it was revealed there was drama as Kris Jenner made the call not to include Courtney's children in the happy moment, which resulted in her daughter Penelope becoming I woke up all night thinking it was a dream. Courtney gushed on Instagram at the time. Not content with just one ceremony, Kravis kicked things off with a drunken Las Vegas wedding in April this year after partying at the Grammy Award. But the wedding was void as it was revealed the loved up couple did not have the correct paperwork. In the run up to their big wedding in Italy, Kravis legally tied the knot in Santa Barbara in May with her grandmother Mary Jo M. Jack Campbell present as well as Travis' father Randy Barker. The pair drove off in a vintage Lowrider convertible with a just-married sign. However, the couple really pulled out the stops for their big bash in Portofino renting out an entire castle for their family and friends. The pair chose the historic house museum Castello Brown located on a hill above Portofino Harbor for their official big celebration.